Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shumanati, aka Grown Bet, with another vid, bitch. Today, I want to hit you guys with a discussion video, man. I just want to discuss the topic, man, get you guys' take on it. I wanted to know, am I tripping or not? Or do you guys agree, man? So before we do anything, guys, please make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Like this video. It goes a long way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Drop a comment and share this throughout all the social media, especially Twitter, man. You can hit me up on all my handles, all my social medias. You can follow me on Snapchat, on Instagram, and on Twitter as well, man. So with that being said, let's get right into it, guys. I want to call this video, is collecting sneakers worth it, man? I'm to the point now, guys, where I'm three, almost four years into the sneaker game strong. And honestly, I'm getting bored. I'm getting tired. I'm um, thinking about honestly retiring from the game, man. There's nothing left for me to prove to myself. Uh, it started pretty basic with me just wanting to get one or two pair of shoes. Then I got, you know, three or four pair of shoes. And then before I know it, I was like, I want one through 14. Then I started to kind of go for my grills. Then I wanted Yeezys. Then I wanted the Trinity of, of Adidas. And it's just, it's a, it's a never ending circle. You're constantly chasing your tail. Uh, I have up to about 30 pair of kicks now, maybe a little over. And I'm bored, honestly. I don't even get to wear half of these sneakers, man. And I don't care i've honestly just been thinking about liquidating my sneakers keeping the kicks that i mostly just want to really wear and selling the rest of this shit because honestly it's just piling up now it's to the point now where it's not even really fun anymore if somebody broke in my house right now and took all my sneakers as long as they ain't take my bread 12s and my ultra boost i could give a fuck less man for the longest it was about trying to chase this down for the longest it was about trying to chase the yeezys now now that i finally got these in my collection i've had these since february and they still dead stop it's just kind of like dude what are you doing man i'm tired of giving these corporations my money i do not want to be gdp growth that these companies are expecting by me throwing away hundreds of dollars man if you do 200 times 30 i've given these companies thousands of dollars man and it's just it's reckless it's stupid you can take that money and put it into a business and ultimately you could become a millionaire investing in that kind of money those couple thousands of dollars so to just be wasting it on sneakers just sitting it's stupid man but what do you guys think, man? I want to say this to any up-and-coming collectors or people who thinking about getting in the sneaker game. You need to seriously consider what you're doing because this is a very expensive habit, man. And this has just been a hobby for me, honestly. If anybody knows me, you know I'm known for having sneakers. All my friends and my family, everybody know if you're looking for the plug, I can, I'm the one you need to holler at. I can always connect you to sneakers. For me, sneakers was kind of a void I was feeling. I always loved hip hop. That was my first love. I always wanted to do music. You could tell if you watch some of my sneaker bars. I love hip hop, but things didn't go the way I wanted it to go as far as musically. And I always stayed in tune with my music, but sneakers kind of filled that void for me that I was missing from not doing my music. Now that I've been doing this three, almost four years, this is even getting bored for me. It's not fulfilling that void anymore before I could crack open a pair of sneakers and it just gave me that nostalgic feeling and I didn't feel bad I guess I could say it almost made me feel better but now it's to the point where I don't even give a shit anymore man I'm ready to liquidate my assets for most of these sneakers get that money back invest it in the business and try to do something positive man ultimately I love YouTube uh, I've been making money from this uh, I've had fun, I've interacted and created friendships. I don't have many friends in real life. Maybe I can count how many friends I got on one hand in real life. A lot of the guys I've met through the internet, I've just gained love for and it's, I've made friendships. And if I got rid of my YouTube and got out of the sneaker game, I would miss you guys, honestly. Of course, I would still contribute, uh, leave comments, show that love, and, you know, still be somewhat interactive. I just won't personally make videos anymore. I'm thinking about it. I'm not all the way there yet, but 
I'm just to the point now where it's like, all right, you need to start investing that money and trying to get you a house or do something serious in life. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not a teenager. So unless this shit really gonna pay my bills, it's time for me to get focused and do some other things in my life, man. And I suggest you do the same as well, man. Stop giving these greedy ass corporate companies all your fucking money on these bullshit ass sneakers, man. But with that being said, man, let me know, am I tripping? Am I just keeping it real? Is this just a phase or what, man? But this is something I want you to seriously consider if you're thinking about collecting sneakers long term because this is an expensive ass habit. And after so long, that void that's empty inside of you that you're trying to feel buying sneakers, eventually that shit is not going to make you happy anymore, man. So I suggest you do something good with your life, man. So with that being said, man, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you taking time out of your day, man. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video, man. Look forward to more content coming from the Shumanati Show. We are the Sneaker Elite family. We are Shumanati, man. So with that being said, you know how we do about this time. It's grown and I approve this message. Intangible entertainment. We famous, bitch. It's grown. I'm gone. Intangible entertainment. We famous, bitch.